speech therapist conducting a new trial at the Clinic for Difficult Sounds at the University of Cincinnati. She is giving children back an incredible gift. It's the ability to know what the R sounds like and to be able to say it again correctly. We explain how all this works in our Medical Edge. Whenever I was trying to say something, my friends wouldn't understand me. Alex, who is now nine years old, has been part of a breakthrough trial sponsored by the National Institutes of Health for the past year. It started because he couldn't clearly make the R sound, especially in certain words. Frustration was even one of them. And my brother thought I was saying frustration. And I would have to explain to him that's not how you say it. But all that has changed thanks to therapy sessions using this ultrasound machine, which when he makes the sound gives him visual feedback for the proper R. Because the problem that you run into with kids who have had uh, problems saying R for a long time is that they have forgotten what it sounds like when they said it right. Alex now knows this is the shape of his tongue when R sounds right. So what you're telling me then is that this here that kind of looks like a peanut is yes. what you're looking for and it's what he sees. That's right. And then knows that he's making the correct sound. Right. You so see, as Suzanne Boyce showed me on these MRI images, these are 21 pictures of adults making the R sound. Don't hear it correctly with these other ones or it just means for some people it's not the peanut? For some people it's not the peanut. Mm -hmm. But since we don't know as much about children's correct R sound images, as part of this trial, she's taking MRIs and visual images through ultrasound in children who don't feel they're able to make the correct R sound. But what's really going on is that they just don't have the right tongue position. Um, and so what we're trying to do is get them to have a better shape of their tongue. Can you tell me what making the sound of the peanut feels like? After I've been doing it, for you, I'm starting to get used to it, like doing it in public and practicing. That practice has paid off quickly for Alex. I, w I was amazed. I think, I think it really is having that visual tool and that immediate feedback um, really made a big difference in how quickly he picked it up and also that he could see when he was doing it wrong. Bottom line for Alex, when it comes to those friends who previously did not understand some of his words. And now they understand me much better. Oh, that is so true. This trial's open to other children and families looking uh, for help. If you'd like more information, number is there on your screen, 558-8503, or go to local12.com. It's a national trial, and if you qualify, you uh, have no charge, and you'll be covered for time and travel. Okay. That's excellent. Oh, he's R is the toughest letter to make the sound. R tends to be, think about it, you have to articulate in a lot of different ways. We don't all say it the same way. It tends to be one that many children struggle with. Could Way be. to go, Alex. Yeah, I know. He's an impressive kid. And I mean, then to be able to say it on TV, no yeah, pressure. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Did a great job. Awesome.